Back it is 9:33. Trent Reedy is a former National Guardsman and engineer who served a year-long tour in Afghanistan in 2003. He grew up in rural Iowa with his sights set on becoming a writer. He has several young adult novels, and his latest has some insights into the real day-to-day -day experiences of Afghan civilians and American soldiers. He co-wrote this book with Afghan author and English professor Jawad Arash. It's called Enduring Freedom. It portrays how two men from completely different worlds, religions, and cultures formed a lifelong friendship. And we say good morning to Trent. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Chicago. So, great to talk to you. Great to talk to you, too. Tell us how you met um, the co-author of this book, Jawad, when you were over in Afghanistan. Right. It was the worst beginning to one of my longest lasting and best friendships of my life. Uh, when uh, my unit first arrived in the western city of Farah, Afghanistan, the base outside of the city that we, that we were building wasn't constructed yet. So my fellow soldiers and I were renting an Afghan house. I was on guard duty at the front of the house, uh, overlooking of the wall uh, with a view of the street. And a, a teenage boy came up and started speaking to me in English, which I was uh, really surprised. But I was also fresh in Afghanistan, so I was very afraid and our training, Army training in Texas had uh, warned us about suicide bombers and everything. So when Jawad stepped into the shade closer to my wall to try to get out of the blazing hot sun, I, uh, I told him to step back from the wall, uh, out of concern for my security. And he said, well, I'm not bothering your wall. I, it's very hot. I'm not. So I, I got more firm and told him to, told him to back up um because i uh, naively thought that he might be a threat uh, i had a lot to learn about afghanistan so. but uh but jawad's a very patient guy and uh kept coming back because he wanted to practice his english skills with a native english speaker and uh we kept talking throughout my tour and then uh over the internet through the years after my tour until we wrote enduring freedom together oh. we're still in contact Trent, one, one of the problems of Afghanistan, we're having some trouble with your signal so we can hear you, but we can't see you. But uh, one of the problems with Afghanistan, uh, analysts have told us, is that we never understood or tried to understand the Afghan culture. Do you find that to be true? And if so, what, what are we missing? Uh, yeah, I think there's a, there's a lot to learn about Afghanistan, and it is, uh, it's, it's easy to overlook a lot of the truths. Um, it took us some, some time to get to know him. I was really pleased to have had the opportunity to interact with the Afghans in person. When I first arrived, we had a lot of misconceptions and, and, and a lack of understanding uh, for Afghans. But once we got to meet them, for the people they are, once, um, you know, I owe my life so many times over to wonderful Afghan people who didn't have to uh, help us at all. Uh, so I, I wish that... Um, I wish that more people would uh, take the time to uh, to consider the uh, the kindness and, and openness of, uh, of of almost all the Afghans. And your friend Jawad, the co-author of this book, he and his family are still in Afghanistan. Is is he in hiding? Yes, uh, we tried very hard to uh, effect a, an escape to help his he and his family uh, get away. Uh, if the Taliban find out who he is, if they find out. Uh, who Jawad Arash really is and, and what he's done. And if they locate him, uh, he's in a great deal of uh, danger. So it's, um, I've been really upset, really worried for the past several days uh, since the betrayal of Afghanistan. And, um, uh, but, but relieved every day when, uh, when, I'm, when I'm back in touch with Jawad. And um, he's, he's one of the bravest people I've ever met. He, he's, he's still optimistic and he's still hopeful. Uh, he's an amazing guy, which is which is one of the reasons why we wanted to write this book, Enduring Freedom, to to get his uh, his message out to the world, to help introduce uh, America to what Afghanistan really is, who the Afghan people really are, and what this mission in Afghanistan for all these years really meant. Well, it's interesting that you co-wrote this book, and it's a young adult novel, so it's based on the story of you two, but it's a novel. It is novel. It is fiction, it, it, but it is so closely inspired by events that happened uh, both with Jawad Arash suffering under the first Taliban era when he was a, uh, a kid, uh, and then uh, with my experience in the war and uh, with our experience coming together. So it's fiction. It's about two different guys, but uh, a, 
there's no other novel that you're going to find that is going to be so close to the truth of the war in Afghanistan. It's practically a novelization yeah. of the war. Well, Trent, we appreciate you joining us this morning again. Enduring Freedom is the name of the book, and you can check out TrentReady.com. He's also on social media. Thank you, Trent. Thank you.